in this problem, x and y are positive integers or natural numbers. 2 to the x plus 2 to the y equal to 2776. 2176, we want to find x and y. So here we have power of 2, power of 2 here. It's an even number. We should prime factorize 2176 first. We will see it's multiple of 4 because 76 is multiple of 4. So it will be 4 times 5 times 4 times 4. Again, 5, 4, 4. 44 is multiple of 4. I can write 4 times this 4 is for this. 5, 4, 4 over divided by 4 is 1, 3, 8. I'm sorry. This one, the last digit is 1. 3, 24, 6. Now, again, we see that 36 is multiple of 4. So if we divide it by 4, it's 4 times 4. These two 4s because of this times 4 times 3, 4. 34 is 2 times 17. So if we prime factorize, it is 2 squared, 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 2, 2, 2, 6. 2 to the 7 times 17. Now here we can say without loss of generality because it is symmetric with respect to x and y. Suppose x is less than or equal y. So y is x plus k. So if I replace which k is at least 0. If I replace here 2 to the x plus instead of 2 to the y I write 2 to the x plus k equal to 2 to the 7 times 17. Here, if we factor from 2 to the x and use this power rule, we can say 2 to the x, 1 plus. Here, 2 to the k times 2 to the x is 2 to the x plus k because of this power rule, equal to 2 to the 7 times 17. Here, because it is the odd part, if k is 0, then it will be power of 2 left hand side because 2 to the 0 is 1 plus 1, 2, 2 times is, but right hand side is not power of 2. So we conclude k, if k is 0, left side will be power of 2, but right side is not because we have 7. So k is at least 1. This part is odd part. This part is power of 2. So we conclude the odd part 2 to the k plus 1 equal to 17 and the power of 2 is 2 to the x equal to 2 to the 7. So from here and here. If we take 1 to right hand side, 2 to the k is 16. So we can conclude k equal to 4 here. 2 to the x equal to 2 to the 7. So x equal to 7. Now, because y here is x plus k, so y is x plus k, 7 plus 4, 11. So one answer is this. But here, we said without loss of generality, x is less than or equal to y, 7, 11. But x can only also be greater than or equal to 7. So the other answer, because it is symmetric with respect to x and y, so we can say x, 11, and y, 7, second answer. So, as I said before, there are around 40, 50 important ideas like this, prime factorization, anything that are useful from basic level up to international level. If you want to learn them, feel free to send a message on my WhatsApp number in the description. Also, thanks for the like, subscribing, and turning on notification. You can use my other playlist to improve your problem solving. Thanks for watching this video.